Yo, what is up guys? I hope you guys are having a uh, great day and uh, in today's video we got a little side project that uh, I've really been needing to do and uh, so yeah, I'll show you guys what we're doing today. Alright, so what we're going to be doing is uh, building a jet ski stand out of this old um, wood holder and uh, so yeah, as you can see here, this is what my dad built uh, quite a bit a while ago or quite a while ago. Um, yeah, this is the what I'm gonna base it off of. Um, it's obviously held up for this long. It'll be good enough. Um, so yeah, this is just some uh, round tubing. Um, not sure, that, not really sure what gauge it is or anything. Um, we're we're gonna be using the old uh, Lincoln arc welder or the stick welder. And uh, so yeah, the weld won't be the prettiest, but uh, she should definitely hold. Um, just now saw this. Uh, it does have some rot, so we'll have to make sure to cut out those pieces. Um, but yeah, I think I can build a pretty sturdy jet ski stand out of this material. And uh, so yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, start ma making some measurements and then uh, start cutting. So let's do it. All right, so as you just saw, we just got these two uh, cross members cut off, and uh, so what I'm gonna think I'm good. What I think I'm going to do is um, just measure this and then cut it off wherever I think, just like right here, and then uh, then we can cut those ends off and just weld it to this end, shorten it up a little bit, and then uh, obviously cut these two pieces. Um, to the height that we want and then uh, yeah I think it should be good to go so yeah we'll just try that all right so we just went ahead and cut off those last legs and uh, now we're ready to go out and uh, measure and cut this little part so I don't know what you call it but yep we're gonna cut it. Alright so both legs are cut and so now we're gonna go ahead and uh, start grinding these things down and then uh, getting them ready to weld onto the ends of those. Um, try to do them as straight as possible but uh, if not it's alright. Um, this thing just has to hold. So yeah, we're going to fire up the welder. Um, I'm going to practice on that brake drum or brake disc um, a little bit because it has been a while. So get some practice in. Um, yeah, then we'll start welding up those uh, little legs. All right, so I just practiced a little bit. And uh, so now we're ready to go ahead and uh, weld those legs on. Um, and try to do my best, but I uh, can't promise anything, so let's do it. All right, so we just finished up the uh, first legs, and uh, so now we're gonna go ahead and do the second one. As you can see, we just got some side pieces. Um, these are these pieces, um, technically. And uh, so yeah, then we got our little uh, 90 degree magnet. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and uh, tack that into place, um, do the other, and then uh, attach it to the other legs. So yeah, this thing's coming along. Just got this side piece welded on. Um, as you can see, the welds, yeah, they're definitely not the prettiest. Um, but I will go ahead and grind those down, make them look a little bit better. So, yeah, now we got to cut another piece, uh, another side piece, and then weld it on this side.
Second leg is on. So now it's the time to attach it to the other side. So not sure how I'm gonna do that. Probably use that little uh, angle magnet, but yeah, we'll get her done. All right, so I just lined up the uh, two pieces. And uh, yeah, as you can see, um, just a little off. Uh, that side's lined up. Not sure how exactly how this happened, but uh, yeah. Um, so we're probably gonna have to cut it right here, cut that leg off, and then uh, extend it. Just put a little piece of uh, pipe in there, and then weld it back up, but yeah. Oh well, stuff happens, so let's get it fixed. All right, so as you saw, um, we just got the little problem fixed. Um, yeah, I had to add that extra pipe, but uh, yeah, it's coming out pretty good. Um, a little wobbly, and as you can see, not the most straight thing in the world, but uh, once I add supports from here to there, I'll just make it longer and I'll push that out hopefully a little bit, and then uh, yeah. But now um, we're gonna go ahead and do some more measuring, and uh, I hopefully actually get it right this time. Um, because the way this one is, uh, it's perfect and it slides right back, right into the bed of my truck. So that's how I want to do this one. Um, so yeah, we're going to have to measure it and make sure to include this, uh, I'm not even sure, is this 2x4, two 2x6? By, two by two I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, we we'll just have to make sure to include that. And then, uh, yeah, so she should be good to go. All right, so before we actually make the measurements, um, to cut these top parts off, uh, I actually need to get the wheels on uh, just to get a little better uh, estimate. So when I'm thinking for the wheels, I think I'm just chopping this off or chopping all four of these off. I should have just done it in the first place. Um, and then setting the wheels like this, something, you know, just chilling right there. And then uh, welding them like that. Um, I know this stuff is super thin, but I uh, should weld it on. I uh, just have to use a little less power, maybe some smaller gauge. Uh, sticks um but yeah so we're gonna go ahead and cut the first one off um i am running out of cutting wheels so we're gonna have to go get some more but i just kind of want to see how it will how it will work so let's go ahead and do it all right so just like this i'm not sure if i explained it clearly enough but yeah cut off that then uh we'll just go ahead and stick this on like this and then uh hopefully weld it up probably bend some of those edges over um with a hammer and then yeah, hopefully uh, they'll all be even, um, but I doubt it, but we'll get it figured out. So we just got all four wheels loaded or uh, welded on. Now we're gonna go ahead and flip it over and see if the thing's at all straight. Don't really have high hopes, but who you knows? Uh, not terrible. Let me straighten it out. Definitely not terrible though. 
I think that'll work. All right, so now that the uh, wheels are all mounted up, now I'm gonna go ahead and measure um, from there to here and uh, just do that same thing for here um, or over on these poles. Um, but yeah, so we're going to do that and then, uh, then it'll be this height and then we can just add the uh, two by six on top of that. Kind of confusing, but yeah, I think you guys know what it means. So now we can go ahead and cut all these poles once they're uh, measured correctly. And then, uh, yeah, we'll be set. All right, so as you can see, we just got all four of those legs cut off. Um, so now we're gonna just make some cross members um, from here to there and just complete the uh, square. So let's do it. All right, so just get all these pieces cut and uh, this is how I'm gonna set it up for now. Then uh, yeah, so now we just have to weld it. So let's get it. All right, so we just got all these uh, cross members welded and uh, yeah, this thing's turning out pretty good. Um, super ghetto, but honestly, I think it will work. So, yeah, I know my welds could definitely use some work, as you can see. Um, but yeah, uh, this thing's coming along. So, as far as the uh, bunks, I'm thinking of using this, this piece of wood, or this piece of metal, and just uh, setting it on there like this and welding it like that. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So uh, let's go ahead and cut these to size and do that. All right, so I had to change it up a little bit. Um, yeah, as you can see, the uh, angle iron is on the inside and that is because if I would have done it on the, uh, the outside, um, the dimensions for the like the curvature of the hall would have not been right. So yeah, I just went ahead and welded them like this. Um, as you can see, super crappy, but I uh, should hold. Um, so yeah, now we're ready to go and get the two by sixes and then uh, I'll have to drill holes um, or stick the bolts going this way because obviously you can't go that way and hopefully I'll be able to get a nut on them. Um, yeah, but I'll we'll have to see about that. Uh, this is the only way I could really do it, unless I put another bar and then put these on top. I don't know, but oh well, this should work. And uh, yeah, let's go get in and get those two by sixes. So uh, yeah, as you can see, we got the two uh, pieces of wood cut and uh, now we're just ready to drill some holes. Um, yeah, like I was saying, we're gonna have to go in from this way. Um, but drill some holes and then uh, run some bolts through probably just two on each maybe three and uh, yeah This thing is uh, almost done. So let's do it All right, so there she is all finished up super ghetto, but uh should work. Um, so yeah, now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, have my dad help me throw the ski on and uh, we'll see how it fits. All right, so as you can see, we got the ski on the stand and uh, it is working pretty good. Um, a little, a little shaky um, and it doesn't roll that good. So we're probably gonna have to get some different wheels. Um, but yeah, overall, uh, it's pretty good. Um, I'm definitely gonna have to put some carpet on the bunks, uh, make things a little smoother. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. All right guys, so like I just said, that's gonna be a wrap for today's video. So thank you guys so much for watching and uh, if you guys like this video, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button and even drop me a like, it really helps me out. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching.